family Jeep ride up Hinch Creek Road and goes to this beautiful canyon. Camera gonna adjust big rock pillars, rock slides. Yeah, I'll take big pictures of rocks. The rocks are all this calcium carbonate seafloor. Um, you know, that's that's just a block of uh, mussel shells. And I thought this was kind of fascinating. went down. I can't tell if we're looking at man-made or just these hills collapsing down. I think it's just the hills collapsing down. Obviously this is a road cut pushed in over here but I was wondering if there might be some uh, native carvings up here. Yeah, I simply do not have the right shoes for hiking and exploring and seeing if there's maybe some native stuff along here. It's a really likely place for it though. Pretty cool. Uh, be honest, buddy? I don't know. We are miles and miles up here. I don't expect to find it. Model T body. I don't know its story. I don't know why I got left. I don't know why this piece is packed all the way up here. Oh, there's even more of it left up here. Look at this. Look at this. Running boards. Look at this thing. What the heck is this? I think that it is. That is a homemade water tank. Wow. Wow. Homemade water tank. That's something no one's seen in a generation. Very cool. I wonder what they were doing. I wonder what they were doing with it. Tell you what though, other than this neat stuff like this, look at the flip top oiler. Flip top oiler on the spring shackles on the rear end of this. Brackets. Somebody will recognize and tell me precisely what this is. I think it's a Model T. I think it's a T. It'll be that rear wishbone arched spring. Somebody will look at that and say, oh, yeah. 
wooden frame rails. Jeez, does the Model T have wooden frame? Huh. Not my point of expertise, I'm afraid. Dash cowling. What sure is scattered. Sure is scattered. The heck and gone. Firewall maybe. And a little more of it over here. And so that's the inner inner fender well and some frame. Oh jeez. More of it down here. There's a whole structure down here. Huh. You know, this is one of those isolated 1890s through maybe 1920s homesteads. There's a cabin over there. A completely collapsed. There's foundation. And then, of course, life changed. And... Okay, there's more in the truck over here. Life changed. There's got to be more than one. There's got to be a couple of, a couple of T's. But uh, people wanted more, and the idea of being out here by yourself is just too much. Generations die off, and front fenders. Generations die off, and things change. Very cool. Well, this thing's pretty old and pretty cool. Big old homemade brushing rake. And they've, they've covered, I wonder what these rippers came from. It's like it's half factory and half homemade. There's a, a subframe that comes back underneath the dirt here. And they just sort of armor plated it with hard facing rod. Good times.